Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll show you how to make a wireless joystick controller based off NRF 24L01 transceiver module. Now, this joystick controller has two joysticks, two potentiometers, two toggle switches, and four push buttons. It also has MPU 6050 gyro sensor as well. So let's get started making this. So to make this project, you will need all of these components. So make sure you gather them all. So now I'll show you how to do wiring connections of this project. So here first I'm connecting all the ground pins of all the components. And after connecting the ground pin, I'm going to connect a 5 volt pin of all the components. Here NRF24L01 module requires 3.3 volt connection. So I'm using an external regulator for this. So for this I'm using AMS1117 3.3 volt regulator. The input I'm providing is of 7.4 volts. And the output from the regulator which I'll get is 3.3 volt, which I will be connecting to NRF24L01 trans receiver. I am also connecting a capacitor to NRF24L01 transceiver module. Now one by one I will show you all the connections of all the components. If you feel these connections confusing, then you can watch this video in a slower speed. So now all the wiring connections are completed. So now to make this project more professional, more beautiful, I've designed my own PCB. So to design my own PCB, I am visiting EasyEDA. Here I have made this schematic and I've converted it into a PCB file. So now what you are seeing is a PCB file of this project. So here I have arranged all the components on the board outline and I've added few graphics and uh, logos as well so now i'll show you the 3d view of this pcb so you can see the pcb looks very good and now it's ready to get ordered so now to order this pcb i'm visiting jlcpcb.com jlcpcb.com is the sponsor of this project as well so to order your pcbs you can visit the link in the description down below so i've opened jlcpcb.com and here i will click on instant quote 
Here we'll upload the Gerber file of our PCB. If you want the Gerber file which I am using then you can find the link in the description down below and download the Gerber file. So after uploading this file, you can select the quantity, select the color and place your order. For now I am selecting 5 pieces and I am selecting black color PCB which looks very good. So after finalizing everything, I will click on save to cart. Now this PCB is added to my cart and now we will place the order. So once you find your PCB in the cart, you can click on secure checkout and do the payment. So in few days I received my PCB which were nicely packed. So as you can see the PCBs are nicely packed and now we'll get this out. So now you can see the PCB looks very neat and clean and the matte black finish is also very good and the graphics which I have printed on this PCB also looks very good. So now one by one we'll place all the components on this PCB and we'll solder it out on the other side. Since it is a joystick, you can connect a buzzer or a vibrator instead of a buzzer. So you'll get a feel of the vibration on your hands while using this joystick. To give power to this joystick, I'm using two 18650 batteries connected in a series and it will give me 7.4 volts. I've connected it to the PCB and by turning on the switch, it powers on my PCB. So now everything looks good. It's time to program this Arduino board. So now first we'll open the transmitter Arduino code. So this is the code of our transmitter. So here you can see I've included all these libraries. Then I've defined all the pins as well. And over here we'll be sending all these details into one package and we'll send it to our receiver. To upload this code to Arduino board, select the board as Arduino Nano, select the process as old bootloader and select the port and click on the upload button. So this is the circuit diagram for our receiver. You need one more Arduino board and NRF24L01 module and connect this according to the circuit diagram. So I've completed all the connections on the breadboard and now I'll connect it with the computer. So this is the code of our receiver. Here I also included the same libraries and over here we are receiving all the data from the transmitter and we are printing it on the serial monitor. So now go to tools, select the board as Arduino Nano, select the processor as old bootloader and select the port on which you have connected the Arduino board and upload this code. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. Here select the baud rate as 9600. So now on the serial monitor you can see all the print statements are getting printed. Since the transmitter is turned off, you cannot see the exact value of the buttons or of the joysticks. So now we'll turn on the joystick module. So now the joystick module will be connected to the receiver via NRF24L01 transceiver module wirelessly. So when I change the joystick positions, so you can see all the values are getting printed on the serial monitor. This data is received by the transceiver module from transmitter to the receiver wirelessly. 
so now I will change the position of the second joystick so you can see the changes in the values as well now we'll test out all the tactile push buttons so you can see the change in value from 1 to 0 The joystick module also has the button in it, so we'll test out that as well. Now we'll test the toggle switches. And now we'll test out the potentiometer. So right now the position is to the max and now we'll bring it out to the minimum position of the potentiometer. So you can see the corresponding change in the value. All this data is transmitted wirelessly via NRF24L1 transceiver module. And now we'll test the gyro sensor that is MPU6050. So you can see the change in the values of pitch and roll. This sensor can be very useful for the gyro control car. So friends, that was it for this video and I will be bringing more such videos where we can control a RC car with this joystick controller and even we can control more such projects with the transmitter which we made today. So if you like this video then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.